Uh, let's get right to it. Let's get to oil because you are you sort of bucking the trend. I quite like this. We like a contrarian. I look at the Bloomberg median estimate. Let's pull up the chart on oil, and Larry can talk us through his contrarian indicator. Q3 50 bucks, Q4 50 dollars 84, and Q1 2017. The median estimate is for 51 dollars 26. Talk me through your chart. We'll come to this chart on my screen in a moment. That's all about oil and stocks. But let's pull up the Larry Williams controversial chart on oil. There you go. Well, I think the future of the oil right now is we're typically a seasonal high in the marketplace. I think we're going to dip and pull back in here until about June 8th, June 9th, then another rally. We haven't seen the high of this market yet, but immediately right now, short-term pullback in the energy markets. Where, are we, where, where could that rally lift itself to then? So is, is 60 your new 50? Where, where, where do we break the range? Well, I think we're going to challenge 50, 55. Then we'll see some more significant selling pressures late in July. So we've got one more, I think, uplift, up leg in this marketplace. Mm -hmm. But first, a pullback. That's a buying opportunity, not a selling opportunity. Don't, don't get frightened about energy prices. There's, after the pullback, one more up move in the market. So... So one more, one more pullback. Um, where should we go next? Should we go? To, should we have a little, little, little bit of a look at gold? Because I mean, we've had a real renaissance in those first couple of months. Let's have a look at Larry's take on gold. The Larry R. Williams view on gold. I had a look, by the way, Larry, and you're being controversial again, which I like. Traders are paying the most in six years to roll over their contracts. In other words, June into Sep, June into July. So the roll, the roll is there. Long positions are down by 25%. But this is this is again calling a contrarian position, isn't it? Well, I've been very bearish on gold uh, since uh, about a month, two months ago. The commercials, the large users and producers have been heavy short sellers of this market. Mm. The public, on the other hand, very, very bullish. Way too bullish. That's what makes major market highs. Right now, we're in a downtrend in gold. What's going to happen? Watch this. Gold's going to rally in here. That sets up a percent R selling point. When we get short term overbought in this market, look out, gold bugs, you're going to lose again. It's going to come down. <laughs> Larry, it's, it's Richard Hong Kong. I'm just curious to know here, you know, how does this work? How does your level of analysis work? And how is it different from uh, the relative strength index, which Manus knows I love so much? Well, relative strength compares one thing versus another thing, and I do that a little bit. Uh, the dollar index heavily influences gold prices, also bearish on gold. But I'm looking at too much optimism in the market by the public, because the public, especially in gold, gets it wrong all the time. They're buying at the highs, they're selling at the lows. They're going to see a rally here when they become aggressive short sellers in this market. That's it. Back to the downside in gold. Larry, then, okay, give me what you're most confident about here. Okay, away from gold, what, what asset class, what particular stock, bond, etc., do you think is going to have the biggest run, in your view, and using, of course, your... I am bullish on the stock market. I think that the bull market continues, uh, the technicians, <laughs> the gloom and doomers, the purveyors of pessimism that are calling for a market high, wrong, wrong, wrong. The economics of America are still strong for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I think we'll go up until September 19th, maybe, somewhere in that area. Then we're going to have a pretty good decline in this market. But between now and the middle of September, we're in a bull market. Stay bullish. We're going higher in stock prices.